Welcome to Stockholm, Sweden. Today, we're diving into the top 10 free things to do in this stunning Scandinavian capital. Known for its blend of rich history, vibrant culture and scenic landscapes, Stockholm has plenty to offer without spending a single krona. So whether you're on a budget or just want to explore the best of Stockholm for free, this guide will help you make the most of your visit. Let's get started. Begin your journey in Gamlestan, also known as Stockholm's Old Town. This area dates back to the 13th century, making it one of the best preserved medieval city centers in Europe. Strolling through Gamla Stan's winding cobblestone streets, you'll find colorful buildings and narrow alleys that make it feel like a living fairy tale. The main square, Stortorget, is home to some of Stockholm's most iconic buildings with vibrant facades and the beautiful Stockholm Cathedral. Be sure to walk down Martin Trotzig's Grand, the narrowest alley in Stockholm, which is only 90 centimeters wide at its tightest point. And if you're interested in the Nobel Prize, you'll find the Nobel Prize Museum here as well, although it does have an entrance fee. Gamla Stan truly offers a glimpse into Stockholm's medieval past. And the best part is that you can enjoy it all for free. Next up is the Royal Palace, also known as Kungliga Slottet one of Europe's largest palaces with over 600 rooms. While entry to the palace interior is ticketed, you can experience the daily changing of the guard ceremony outside for free. This traditional ceremony takes place most days at noon, although times may vary, and in the summer months, the ceremony is accompanied by a full military band. It's a unique opportunity to witness Swedish royal traditions and see soldiers in historic uniforms, the ceremony typically lasts about 40 minutes, giving you plenty of time to soak up the atmosphere outside this beautiful palace in Gamla Stan. Stockholm is home to several museums with free admission, giving you access to some of the city's best art and history at no cost. Two standouts are Moderna Musit, located on Skepsholmen Island. Moderna Musit offers free entry to its permanent collection. Here you'll find works by some of the 20th century's most influential artists, including Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Henri Matisse. The museum also features impressive outdoor sculptures around the building, making it an inspiring stop for art lovers. The Swedish History Museum, this museum known as Historiska Musit in Swedish, covers Sweden's history from the Stone Age through to medieval times. One of the main highlights here is the Gold Room, where you'll see stunning Viking artifacts and gold treasures. If you're a fan of history, this museum is a must-see. Djurgården Island is a green oasis right in the heart of Stockholm, beloved by locals and tourists alike. Known for its parks, waterfront trails and peaceful natural beauty, Djurgården offers a quiet escape from the city's bustle. You can take a scenic walk along the Djurgårdsbrunn Canal or bring a picnic to enjoy by the water. While Djurgården is home to several popular museums and attractions like the Vasa Museum and Skansen Open Air Museum, which charge for admission, the island itself is free to explore. Don't miss Rosendal's Tradgard or Rosendal's Garden, where you can walk through beautiful orchards, flower gardens and plant nurseries without paying a fee. Jordemalm, often just called Söder, is known for its artsy bohemian vibe and some of Stockholm's best lookouts. Montelius Vargen, a 500 meter path along the cliff, offers panoramic views of the city's skyline, perfect for sunset or sunrise. You can also head to Skinarviksberget, Stockholm's highest natural point, which provides an even wider view of the city and is a popular picnic spot in summer. Södermalm's lookouts are not only free, but also give you one of the best views over the iconic landmarks of Stockholm, including Gamla Stan and the City Hall. If you have time, explore the surrounding streets full of art studios, second-hand shops and cosy cafes that give Södermalm its unique charm. Kungstrad Garden, or the King's Garden, is a central park that's beloved by locals. Each season brings something unique. In spring, the cherry blossoms create a stunning pink canopy over the park. In summer, you'll find free concerts, festivals and open-air theatre. And in winter, there's an ice skating rink where you can skate for free if you have your own skates, or rent them for a small fee. As one of Stockholm's oldest public parks, Kungstrad Garden holds a special place in the city's culture and history, making it a great place to relax and people watch or enjoy a seasonal event. 
Ostermalm is known for its elegant, upscale atmosphere, and exploring this neighborhood is a free way to experience Stockholm's luxurious side. Walk along Strandvagen, a stunning boulevard lined with grand 19th century buildings and luxury boats docked along the quay. Take a detour to Ostermalm Salahol or Ostermalm Market Hall, a beautiful indoor market where you can browse fresh produce, seafood, and Nordic specialties. Although Strandwagen and the Market Hall are free to visit, they offer a window into Stockholm's high-end lifestyle with plenty to admire, even if you're only window shopping. Stadshuset, or Stockholm City Hall, is an architectural icon with its striking spire and three golden crowns on top. While tours inside Stadshuset require a ticket, the City Hall gardens are free to explore and offer fantastic views across Riddarfjarden, the bay area that separates central Stockholm from Södermalm. The gardens provide a peaceful setting to relax by the water or snap photos with the beautiful backdrop of Stockholm's skyline. Fun fact, the Nobel banquet is held in the Blue Hall inside City Hall each December, adding to its prestige and historic charm. Connected by a bridge to central Stockholm, Skepsholmen and Kastelholmen are two small peaceful islands that are perfect for a quiet walk with beautiful views. Skepsholmen features outdoor art installations and small museums, while Kastelholmen has Kastelet, a small 19th century fort that makes for a unique photo spot. These islands provide a more relaxed atmosphere, offering stunning views of the water and surrounding neighborhoods and give you a chance to enjoy Stockholm's natural beauty without any crowds or admission fees. While Stockholm's archipelago extends to thousands of islands, many of which require a ferry ticket, you can still enjoy archipelago vibes right in Stockholm. Head to neighborhoods like Naka or Vaxholm, both of which offer beautiful waterfront areas and local life typical of the Swedish archipelago. If you're here in summer, you'll see locals enjoying the sun, swimming and picnicking by the water. A classic Swedish summer experience that's completely free and a perfect way to end your tour of Stockholm. And there you have it, the top 10 amazing things to do in Stockholm for free. From the historic streets of Gamla Stan to the scenic lookouts of Södermalm, there's so much to experience without spending a fortune. Whether you're exploring parks, visiting free museums or taking in the iconic views, Stockholm offers a wealth of experiences that are rich in culture and beauty. Thank you for joining us and be sure to subscribe for more travel adventures. Until next time, happy travels.